Hi everyone, I'm Jor and you're watching the third episode of Blue Castle TV. On today's episode, Nemo will be talking about microphones, different kinds of microphones, their functions, and at the end of the video, Nemo will be showing you some demos. And now I'll leave you with Nemo. Hi guys, my name is Nemo and today's episode is about microphones. In a studio setting, you might find several types of microphones, like dynamic microphones. These microphones can be used for recording vocals, instruments such as guitar cabinets and percussive instruments. These microphones are better used for capturing loud sources of audio. Other types of microphones that you can find in a studio, it's a condenser microphone. These microphones are very sensitive and they are used to record vocals or any instrument that produces a controlled sound. The difference between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone is that condenser microphones requires extra power. That's why in most audio interfaces you can find a 48 volt switch. There is another type of microphone that is a tube microphone. It's similar to a condenser microphone, but it requires not only 48 volts, but requires an external power source. That's why most of tube microphones come with a preamp. You can also find ribbon microphones. This is more sensitive than a condenser microphone. And this is because, instead of a diaphragm, it uses a ribbon to capture the sound waves. These microphones can be used to record vocals as well, guitar cabinets, acoustic guitars, and other sound sources. You have to be very careful when handling this type of microphones, because they don't require 48 volts. If you press the 48 volt switch, you just lost yourself a thousand dollars. And the last type of microphone I'm gonna mention in this video is the contact microphone also known as piezo microphone. These microphones can be found on electroacoustic guitars and some percussive instruments. These microphones are easy to find, very cheap, and you can build one yourself. There are a variety of condenser microphones, dynamic microphones, ribbon microphones, but what are the differences among them? Many differences are the dynamic range, the frequency range, and the polar pattern. I'm not gonna be talking about the frequency range or the dynamic range, but I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the, a more important aspect of this microphone, that is, the polar patterns. These different microphones have different polar patterns. Some microphones include switches that allows you to select different polar patterns. These are omnidirectional, that allows you to capture the entire circle, an entire room, or ambient sounds. The next pattern that you can find is the most typical you can find on dynamic microphones and condenser microphones. And this one is the cardioid. The cardioid pattern is called cardioid because it resembles a heart. This one allows you to capture everything coming in the front and rejecting everything that's coming in the back. Another type of cardioid pattern is the supercardioid. The supercardioid is similar to the cardioid but has a narrower pickup pattern, rejecting a little bit more on the sides but capturing a little bit more on the back. These type of patterns can be found on microphones such as shotgun microphones and these microphones can be found on film settings like the boom after the supercardioid there's the hypercardioid this one has a narrower pickup pattern rejecting a little bit coming from the sides but capturing even more on the back so we're seeing a pattern here no pun intended but the last pickup pattern that you can find is the bidirectional or as they call it the figure eight and this is because it resembles an eight capturing everything coming in front and on the back. This is very useful when recording a duet because you can have one person recording in front and another person recording in the back. Well, that's enough of me talking and now let's do some demos. The first microphone we're gonna use is a dynamic microphone and this one is the Sennheiser E835. It ain't the gun it's a man behind a trigger Gets blood on his fingers and runs It ain't the lie It's a way that the truth is denied But if there is one thing that I'm guilty of It's loving and giving when you take too much if somebody asks how we died Please look them straight in the eye The first condenser microphone we're gonna use today is an MXL 3000 
This one was my very first condenser microphone. Now, let's see how it sounds. It ain't the gun It's a man behind a trigger Gets blood on his fingers and runs It ain't the lie It's a way that the truth is denied But if there is one thing that I'm guilty of was loving and giving when you take too much If somebody asks how we die Oh please look them straight in the eye And the second condenser microphone we're gonna try is the MXL 890 It ain't the gun It's a man behind the trigger Gets blood on his fingers and runs It ain't the lie It's the way that the truth is denied But if there is one thing that I'm guilty of it's loving and giving when you take too much If somebody asks how we died Please look them straight in the eye The way I record my guitar is I point the center of the microphone to the 12th fret of the guitar Then I leave a space of 7 inches between the guitar and the microphone Now let's check the sound Well, now you know how the different microphones sound like, and I hope this video made your microphone hunting a little bit easier. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Nemo out. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, share and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also don't forget to check our social media, the links will be posted below, so thank you for watching and see you on our next episode.